Have you had any abortions or ever took a plan B? Would you ever date a girl? Did you used to strip? Have you ever been in love and if so, with who? Moonshot peaches ain't no hope. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another Afghan video. So let me talk about the time to be low. Today I'm about to be answering some spicy questions from some close friends and family. So I'm going to be doing that over some charcuterie, a little bit of wine, and of course some moonshine peach pickles. TikTok, they put me on. If TikTok not spending all your money, you're not a true TikToker. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing today. If y'all want to see the details on how I made this board, that is going to be in my weekend vlog that y'all will see. Not this video, but the video after that. So. If y'all want to get into some charcuterie, which I do, and some spicy questions to know more about your girl, before that, make sure that you like and subscribe or press the notification bell so as I upload the video, you won't miss a beat and become a part of the crew. So I don't know what I'm going to name y'all. I'm sorry to just marry y'all. I don't know what I want to name the family, the group, the gang, whatever. So if you have some suggestions, please comment down below. Um, I'm just going to get into, you know, jewelry outfit real quick. Um, Sheen, um, Birthstone, and these two rings, sorry to put y'all off, are from Image. This dress, what the hell is this dress from? I think this dress is from Image, if, if I'm not mistaken. It's from Image of Forever 21. You know, cute friendship, and just, I have my Scorpio gang. What the fuck? Scorpio gang necklace on, okay, period. And a book my friend sent me up for the hair. I'm gonna put all her stuff. Um, it's gonna be my vlog too, but I'll link it down below just because that's the video, okay? And if I can find the dress, the jewelry, all that would be late for y'all. So let's just get into some spicy questions, okay? I have, I'm ready to get into this charcuterie and I'm ready to get into these. So let's do it. So I'm gonna take take a peach and then we're gonna go right into the video. All right. Let's do it. Mm. Oh my. That's dangerous. That's real dangerous. Ooh. Let me not be no. That's dangerous. That's real dangerous. That's like a shock, for sure. I didn't expect any less, but that's like a shock, for sure. Mmm. Moonshine peaches ain't no hope. All right, so let's just get into the first question. My phone's upside down. All right, so I just had my friends send some questions in the blue chat. My sister sent me some questions. My cousin sent me some questions. We just gonna answer um, on the phone, okay? Until I'm late. Basically. So, first question is starting out real spicy. So, the first question is How was your experience of losing your virginity? Um, so, my experience with my virginity was. It wasn't it. Mmm. Do you have a pee on it? It's busting. Okay. It wasn't it. I would give you, you can ask for any advice, but I just want to say, wait, hold your virginity until you turn in of time. Don't have sex. Anyway, it wasn't it because I felt peer pressure by like friends and stuff because I was a virgin and other people had already had sex and it was just like, go ahead and have sex. And I wanted to make my boyfriend happy, which didn't work. And then he wanted to have sex too. I don't regret the situation at all. I just feel like that I should have waited. So. That was my experience. It hurt like hell. It wasn't like the movies. The shit felt like a train crash right into my vagina. Zero out of 10 would not recommend. Okay. All right, question number two. What are two things that turn you on? Question number two. What are two things that turn you on? And, and, and. I wanna try this vanilla goat cheese. I wanna try this with this little sesame cracker. Let's try that. And then we'll get into two things that's right now. Let's see. Mmm. I got me some baby. I got I got me some baby. 
Y'all probably gonna see the real me be like, what the fuck is wrong with her? This is how I literally act, so I'm a good boy. Clown, give me clown. Charlie, bro. I don't like that. I don't like that with that. That's nasty. I'm not trying that again. Two things to turn me on. I'm assuming they're saying like, I guess in general. Romanticized, like romantic. We're a romantic man that turns me on. Super Circle 3000, like, yes. Another thing that turns me on is, I know this is bad, this is toxic, you should not be like this. But I like when a nigga is not far up my ass. Like, I just wanna see his head sticking out just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, show me that you're a little mm mm too, you know? Like, don't be straight all the way up there. Like, I just wanna see mm -mm, make a little toe sticking out, okay? You ain't gotta be that far up there, you gotta be up there, right? But not that far to where, like, I just feel like you're just a push over. So, that's two things that turn me on. Yeah, like he a little, a little man we like a little, uh, uh, like, show me, you know, cause I'm alpha, I'm alpha, 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 whoa. I'm alpha female, so if you don't show me that you not that guy, then you'll never be that guy to me. And that's probably toxic, you probably shouldn't be like me, but it is what it is. Let's try a little bit of the rose with it. Got my little rose. Drink yeah, him. drink him. Okay. <laughs> I've never been in love with anyone. Um, I'm only 21 and I just never got that far with like relationship. So no, I've never been in love. I'll be in love soon. Okay. I'm just playing. I don't know. But I know I have never been in love and there's no name to drop because I've never been in love. So yeah. Wish me some love, y'all, because I've been taking up some love. That's how dare me. Next, tell us the time where you had secondhand embarrassment. I'm gonna tell y'all the time I had secondhand embarrassment. So, I went to the bar with my dad. Y'all gonna see my dad tomorrow. And my dad's like, goofy. So, he goes up to this lady and her man sitting right there. And it's the lady and her friend and the lady and her man right there. Okay, so. He goes up to the girl talking about, I see you looking at me. Her man is right there, whatever. So, he like, the girl like, no, this is my man or whatever, which he knows that was her man. He just goofy. And he went up there and he was like, yeah, you know, I see you looking at me. You see you looking at me across the bar or whatever. You know, you want a shot. You and your, you and your friend want a shot. Y'all sure you want a shot. They're like, no, we good. My man right here. So, well, she's like, no, we good. My man right here. He come back over to me, whatever, and they looking at me weird, they don't know, like, my dad looks young, y'all see him tomorrow. Both my parents are gone, so they don't know if I'm his chick, they don't know who I am, like, maybe they think I'm his chick, cause, you know, we had a bar together, that's what me and my dad do, like, he really like homie. So, yeah, that's what we do, so they looking at me like, so it's hand advantage me already. He goes back over there, and like, you don't know him. And, and I, oh, why did you do that? And they start looking at me, and I was like, embarrassment. If a lot of it just poured on my head. Why am I drinking? Second embarrassment again. I'm trying to 
drink around this lemon, y'all. Next, who is my celebrity crush? Mm, who is my celebrity crush? Kofi, Chafana, cho I gotta think for chocolate. Chocolate? Ooh. Almost. Kofi, I'll put a picture of him right here. <sighs> Love him. It's my celebrity crush. Hands down. Oh, a little bit of chocolate. Mmm, ooh, that's very colored. Very. Okay. The shrami and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. So far, I like this cracker with this cheese and this meat, pickles. This. I really like these. I haven't tried these two. These, maybe with these crackers. I don't know. Next question. Did you used to strip? <laughs> so I never stripped, but I did work at a bottle girl as a bottle girl at crew for one day. Never stripped though. I can't even dance. Do y'all know I'm stiff? I've been doing a little a little but not not nothing much, see? I've been doing this a little bit, just a little, this much. It's getting spicy. Have you ever cheated in this so how many times? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna be honest. Be honest, y'all. I have cheated and I was in high school, so I don't know if that counts, but I cheated on him because he cheated on me. So like, you know, I'm not saying that's an excuse or nothing, but I'm trying to say that that's an excuse. He should never cheated on the big boss. What is wrong with you? Have you lost it? Why would you do that to yourself? Cause really, I'm a whole nigga, so you played yourself. But no, for real. He cheated on me and I cheated back. That's not the only time that I cheated on nigga. Yeah, that's the only time. Peach time! I just <laughs> it's already bad so I should just just do it just do it don't don't stop just do it I'm being weird mm. Mm. that's bad that's real bad Just a little. <laughs> Let me taste it. Let me see. It's not even that bad. The peach just tastes worse. But it's also mixed. And I only put a little bit. But. Man, what's the freakiest thing that you've done? Honestly, I don't have anything. I picked this up at the wrong time. <laughs> okay, anyway. Don't be child if you in the comments. I'm trying to think. Cause I'm not that girl. I'm not. I'm a basic type of girl. Y'all know the regular positions. I am a basic type of girl. Maybe like the freakiest thing I've done is like, I would say the freakiest thing I've done was had a nigga pull up on me when I was at a function, like a little backyard function and he was about to go. And he put up with me, picked me up, we did our thing, and he dropped me back off. And I just came in there like, <laughs> but I literally had him pick me up before he left because he could not leave. Like, so that's probably like, just came back in the function like, hey, where you was at in the bathroom? Like, like, didn't even know I was going. So that's probably like the most, like, I wouldn't say that's the freakiest, but it's just like the most outrageous type of freak shit I did. So that, that was it. Next, are you gay? Get me a man and a man. So am I lesbian? No, I'm not lesbian. I do not like girls. I just, you know, I don't like it. It's nothing against anybody. It's just not my cup of tea. 
I just, I like a man, like I said. Yeah. Would you ever date a girl? Like I said, not as man, so I would not. I would not date a girl. Next, what's the craziest place you've ever done it? I don't know about the craziest. I told y'all I'm not that girl, and I'm not tapping on this camera. I am not. I'm just not that girl, cause I just then I said I've never been in love. So when I become in love, and I be get and, and I become that girl, it'll be a little bit more lit for y'all. It'll be more spicy for y'all. But uh, I'm gonna tell y'all a funny story. When I was younger, I, I had just got my first apartment, and I did it with a boy in my closet, and it was my own apartment. Like, I don't know, that's just some random, crazy, weird, freaky shit. So, I'm going to say in the closet because, I don't know. And what, the funny part about it was, I I, I wanted it to be dark because I know how the girls is. I wasn't really, like, I'm going to say, like, unexperienced, but I just wasn't, like, comfortable with myself at the point. So, you really shouldn't be having sex if you're not comfortable with yourself. So, it was, like, light outside, and I was just like, let's go in the closet because it's dark in there. Uh... I think I had candles in the closet too, so that's probably like the freakiest place I ever done it. Yeah, besides like the car or something. I, I think that's kind of regular. Baggy shorty, I'm not one of those. No more. <laughs> Have you ever ate roast beef? They don't really mean roast beef. They mean that girl. And no, not into it. Don't think. I'm not gonna say don't think. Never will. Just not my thing. Have you ever had a one night stand? I never had a one night stand. Ooh. I lied. <gasps> I have had a one night stand. Yes, I've had a one night stand before. Really? I don't want to say it was a one night stand because I was talking to the dude. We did it one time and then we talked a little bit after that and it just kind of like faded. So I don't really think that's a one night stand. I think a one night stand is when you meet somebody that, that day and then like y'all look up get drunk whatever whatever y'all do and y'all just end up by my you know another person but I did know the person so I don't wanna know if you call it a one night stand but if you wanna call it I mean it was just one night so take it how you take it this is good I like it goat blueberry vanilla cheese really good 10 out of 10 you should get you some from Audi sponsor me did you ever go through a whole phase? So I really don't know what y'all consider like a whole phase or whatever, but I was texting hella niggas, linking up with hella niggas. I'm not gonna say I was like having sex with hella niggas at one time or whatever, but I definitely was, you know, talking to hella niggas. This is in high school and just being a fast ass high school girl. So I'm just gonna say yeah, cause like, when you buy 10 different niggas you text in, you bop them. Like, you bop them. Like, it's just, and I'm not saying, like, no, just to get somebody have your face. But for me personally, like, I'm going to be dry as a desert now. Dry as what you mean, lips. And I just feel like, no, I was playing. I just feel like back then, like, for me, that was my bop phase. So, definitely, I'm just going to say, yeah. All right, we got two more questions. And then I'm going to end it off with a peach. And then the girls will get some more content coming from me so this one real mm, have you had any abortions or ever took a plan b so i never had any abortions never been pregnant before thank you god but yes i done popped a few plan b's um if you're sexually active and you are not being smart like i wasn't then you've had to do that Ten, zero out of ten do not recommend it. It messes up your cycle, messes up your pH balance. It's just it's not it, but it's safer route than you ever have to go get an abortion. Um, just because like that's like more trauma than taking a plan B. So yes, I'm taking a plan B or two. Um, okay, y'all give us a me the anxiety. But no, I've never had any abortion. So that's a that's a real crazy question right there. But not least, of course, have you ever shoplifted? Okay, this is funny. I'm actually scary. I'm not that girl when it comes to that. So I've only ever shoplifted on accident. You know how like you don't don't try to claim me. You know how like you put something 
in a basket or at the top or whatever and you just forget to scan it or it's at the bottom or something you forget to scan it that's the only time i've ever shoplifted i've never just stolen something as far as i can remember i don't think i ever stole something i think i don't i don't think i ever stole nothing i want to say i stole some earrings but i don't want to say i stole them because one thing about me i'm scary and my friends might have been stealing but I might have acted like I was feeling something cool, but put it back before we walked out the door. Like I'm not that girl, and I believe in bad karma. No, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one as a no. All right, since I'm avoiding this peach, I'm just gonna do one more question, and then we're gonna do the peach. If you were to ever get a man, can we expect a couple channel from you? If I was to ever get a man, y'all would never see the front side of him because I just feel like the internet crumble your relationship into a hundred thousand little tiny pieces and you for you to pick that back up and put that all back together it will never be the same so that's gonna be a big no sorry for me <laughs> so yeah let's do this peach okay just for the end of this video i really enjoyed talking to y'all so and y'all getting to know some crazy tea about me so let's do a big juicy one i'm really gonna start calling y'all Juicy bang, but I don't know. Let me know if y'all like that in the comment section down below. Let's do a big juicy one for the end. Jeez. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna take the lemon off because it's just that bad. Mmm. That just made it a hundred times better. Mm. That just made it a hundred times better. I might take another one just because that just made it. I'm just gonna test the theory right now. I'm gonna get a little small one. I said a small one. Okay, here go half one. So I'm gonna test this theory. Lemon peach, because that just made it so much better. Mine just came up with something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. You know what we've been doing that the whole time? Even though it's real spicy? That, that works. So if you ever get these moonshine peaches, get some lemons and eat them with the lemons. These are deadly. But thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope y'all enjoyed my spicy questions over my charcuterie. Hope it was real cute and you enjoyed the vibe. So if you like the vibe, you already know, subscribe. Um, I will be back with another lit video for y'all real soon. So make sure you share my video, okay, with your mom, daddy, sister, your ex, whoever. And I just thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for all my subscribers. We lit over here, okay? Share my video. And I'm out.